Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. How are you guys doing? I am great. Happy Sunday. Am I gonna put this up on Sunday? Yeah, happy Sunday. I'm trying to, I'm trying to get my life together. Happy Sunday. So in today's video, I am going to be playing around with one of the new BH Cosmetics. What is it? The Sweet Shops palette. Um, I have cherry on top in my hands right now, but I also own the creamsicle one, which is the orange one, but we're gonna focus on this one today. Um, so as you know, BH Cosmetics dropped their Sweet Shop collection. They also have a brush set that went along with it. That's really cute, but I don't need it. Um, and they had this one, which is cherry on top. They had creamsicle. They had a blue one, which was, I believe, bubble gum. The green one, which was pistachio, which I kind of want, but I don't really wear a lot of green eyeshadow. And I have my big carnival palette that has green in it, so I talked myself out of it. And then the last one was cotton candy, which was really cute, but, um, so anyway, so the palette itself is only eight pans. A lot of people are comparing it to, let me open it up here. A lot of people are comparing it to um, ColourPop's monochromatic color story, which I guess you can compare it to that. I do own some of those palettes, um, but the pans are definitely bigger. I have not, use BH Cosmetics in so long. When I first got into makeup, BH Cosmetics was my jam. In Coastal Scents, but then like once I discovered BH Cosmetics, I stopped buying from Coastal Scents. So I felt like I was leveling up in a way, but you know, it's what I could afford, so that's what I bought. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do some live swatches for you guys so you can see how they swatch on me. And I'll also link the trend move video that pretty much got me to purchase this eyeshadow palette. Oh, trend mood. Um, I'll link their swatch video down below so you can see that swatch video as well. Okay, dry my finger off. Blah. All right, so sprinkles. Looks like that, and that's just one swatch of color. Right back over that same spot. So that is sprinkles. So it might be showing up more red on camera, but it's actually like a wine, like a like almost like a deep wine burgundy color. The next shade right next to sprinkles is tart. Second swatch. That is tart you can see what they look like so sprinkles up top tart right below it a mistake underneath tart okay uh, my fingers are getting red too uh, right next to tart is wild cherry and it's more of a strawberry pink I guess is the best way to describe this color so that's wild cherry and then the next matte shade underneath it is Sunday. And it's just a powder bubblegum pink. That's Sunday. So yeah, that is the bottom row. The bottom row is all mattes and the tops are their compatible shimmer shades. So above sprinkles is black cherry, which, oh my God, I feel like I should put this on my eyes. That is black cherry. That's one swatch, you guys. Like, mm. like the shimmer shades in here, popping. And then next to black cherry is this kind of pinky mauve color, and that's maraschino. I put that right underneath black cherry. One swatch. Yes, Lord, I'ma use that one. <laughs> and then the next shade next to maraschino right here is Juicy. Juicy is what is primarily on my lid now. And this is what Juicy looks like. So there's that. And then the last shade that's above Sunday is this cute bubblegum pink shade and it's called Sweet. And sweet is actually in my inner tear duct. So that is sweet. Ooh, wee, honey. 
So you got your four mats up top and then your shimmers down at the bottom. So this palette, if I didn't say, I don't remember, this palette does retail for $18. There is five of them in the collection. Um, they are sold on BH Cosmetics website directly, or you can find them on Ulta, um, which is where I purchased mine. And <clears throat> yeah, as you can see from these swatches, they're not bad swatches, um, especially these shimmers. These shimmers were one swipes. The mattes, obviously I did two swipes in, but it's not bad. Here, I'll turn my arm side this way so you can see. So yeah, if you guys are interested in seeing, oh my God, I'm taking a shower after this. Girl. If you guys are interested in seeing how I created this eye look, then just keep watching. Okay, so this is what I got. This honestly took me, <laughs> took me a second. I had to do a redo on what I wanted to do with this palette. Um, so yeah, let's just go ahead and complete the other eye. So I'm taking, as always, my P. Louise base. I'm trying really hard to use this up. And I think I'm actually like doing that. And actually the first palette I'm going into is my Natasha Denona bronze palette. And I'm taking the shade um, sundown which is this one right here and I'm just putting that in my brow I actually took sundown and suntan which is right next to sundown I'm just putting that into my brow bone all right so the first shade I'm going to take is sprinkles is the darkest shade in the palette and I'm just going to start tapping that on to my lid Oh, and then I'm gonna switch brushes. I'm gonna switch brushes and I'm just gonna take a fluffy blending brush and I'm just going to buff it out. I'm actually really impressed by the pigment of these. Like, holy moly Batman. Desperate. And then I'm just taking an even smaller brush and just blending it out just a little bit more. And then packing on just some more. All right, then I'm just gonna go in and cut my crease really quick. All right, so I'm going in with Juicy, which is this color right here. I'm just going to put that on my lid. And then I'm going to go in with Sweet, which is right next to Juicy, if my camera decides to focus. There we go. I'm gonna go right into Sweet. Put that in my inner tear duct and kind of work it upward. And then after that, I'm gonna go back in with my fluffy blending brush and I'm going to not so much blend, but dab this color into um, Juicy so that it's seamless. And then I'm gonna take a smaller pencil brush and just kind of wiggle that back and forth to make it even more of a seamless connection. All right, so now I'm just gonna go in and finish my under eye and put on my liner and my lashes and then I'll be right back. I'm not gonna lie you guys, I kinda of got upset because I'm trying out this new velour, like, I don't know if the camera's gonna pick that up, this, what is this like a it's supposed to be a oh it's a it's an eyeliner and lash adhesive hybrid and my current thoughts on it is it fucking sucks um i got some on my makeup 
that, you know, can't get off. Um, but it's just not sticking. Like I got this lash to go on, but this lash was just not sticking. I don't know if these are stacked lashes, so they're just, it's probably too much of a lash for the product. I don't know, but she's not a fan. Anyway, eyes are done, and I'm gonna go ahead and just move on to my face. I'm gonna use e.l.f. Prep and Hydrate Balm. I really like how this stuff feels. It's so cool. And I'm just going in with the Smashbox Concealer. This is a shade Dark Golden or Warm Dark Golden. And then I'm taking Smashbox Concealer, and this is in medium dark. And then this is something new that I picked up. This is the Oma Beauty Double Take Scoped Sculpt and strobe stick. I'm definitely not gonna be using the strobing side, but I do want to cream contour today. Oh my, this is in the darkest shade. I'm sure the camera picked that up. And this is in black pearl. So I'm just going to, whoa, okay. I'm gonna take ColourPop Dark 46. Put that underneath my eye and also, yeah, I think I'm gonna put it up top again. So now I'm just gonna, I'm gonna take my Laura Mercier powder and the Actually, first, I'm gonna take my I'm gonna take my RCMA powder and set my under eye around my face. Sometimes I truly can't be bothered with my makeup look until I'm like completely finished with it. And it's like everything is melted and came together. Then I'm like, okay. <laughs> like, oh, okay, yeah. Okay, sure. Now I'm just going to set the rest of my face with my tried and true trusted MAC Fix Powder. All right, so moving on to the bronzing section of life. I have a new bronzer here, and it is the Nabla Skin Bronzing. Let me open it up so you guys can see it so you're not getting that light reflect. And I have it in the darkest shade in its profile, which is supposed to be a dark, warm brown. Um, I believe. It's not even I believe. I, these are new. I don't know if they came out with their like Miami Lights collection or if they've always. Um, we're gonna drop these bronzers. I don't know if the that's all part of it. However, comma, I did pick this up. I want to try it out because I do like their skin glazes. So I wanted to see if I would like their bronzer. So let's find out. you definitely don't get any kickback. They have like a jelly powder form 
kind of thing. I can't explain it, but I do like that there's no, hardly ever any kickback. Oh yeah, it uh, definitely gave me something. It's very subtle, it's not as harsh. At one point in my life, I was trying to like, have like the pinched nose effect. But you know, that just doesn't work for me. So I do like my own, what works for me. I know every, every artist, every makeup enthusiast says there's a technique for everybody that everybody should follow, but no. Okay. What am I gonna do for blush? All right, for blush, I'm just gonna take my Ben 9 blush in Victoria Rose. I've used this enough times on my channel by now. And then I'm taking, this is definitely part of their um, Miami Lights collection. I could be, I know it's Miami something, but this is the Nabla Skin Glaze in Independence. And it looks like that. This can be used as a blush on some people or blush topper. I'm gonna use it as like a highlighter blush. Highlighter slash blush topper. This is like that rosy pink that I would see in highlighters that are way too light for my skin tone and I'd be wanting one. I don't know why I put it on my nose, but I did. <sighs> Jeez, today. But it'd be way too light for me, so it looks ashy, but this actually looks good. And it looks, it just looks like a good old blush topper to me. So I'm actually gonna go in with privilege and add a little bit more pizzazz to it. All right, for the sake of not just doing another nude lip, I'm gonna do a pinky nude lip. Um, so I'm gonna line my lips with Max Chestnut. And then, and then I'm going in with Oma Beauty's uh, matte lipstick. This is the Badass Icon Collection and this is in the shade Coretta. Okay, and then I'm gonna go in with my Dosa Color Gloss and Made You Blush. All right, y'all, so that is it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup look. Ooh, this is pink, pink, child. Um, final thoughts on the Cherry on Top palette. I, um, you know, it's not a bad palette. Is it something that like you desperately need in your collection? No, I'm more than certain I could have duped all these shades with all the other palettes that I have in my collection. Is there, if, if there is a certain color story that stands out to you and you know, you just have to have it, by all means buy it. It's only $18 and the pans are actually really really nice size. Um, but is it one of those things that's like, ooh, you need it? No. <laughs> um, no, it's not, but it is nice. I'm actually really impressed um, with BH Cosmetics because like I said, it's been so long since I've purchased a palette from them. I started, when I started out doing makeup and started freelancing, all my brushes were BH Cosmetic brushes um, and a lot of my palettes that I have were BH Cosmetic palettes. So they've came a really long way. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and stay tuned for the next one. Bye.